Hello everyone, I'm going to do a quick little review on V-Player from Motorola Zoom. And this particular app uh, boasts um, Tegra 2 support, so I'm assuming they mean it supports the hardware acceleration. Uh, you can watch my review of the Zoom on Amazon.com. This is just on the V-Player. Uh, first I'll show you the app itself. And it does have a lot of customizations, but that's not always a good thing. Um, can't really test most of them out because the player doesn't work, work well to begin with. Uh, video quality is set to high speed, which means it's going to be a lower quality video. I've tried medium and high quality. Uh, honestly, they don't play worth a dang on high speed, so you turn the quality up, they're going to get worse. Um, let's see. Eh, eh, right now I'm having trouble just getting it to accept input. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, look. Yahoo. There we have a reboot. So we'll let that boot back up and I will take up where I left off. Hey, at least you get to see the boot speed. So this video provides you with the boot up speed of the Motorola Zoom in addition to a crash. <clears throat> so. Okay, here we are back at the main screen. Try this again. We'll show you the V player. Let's go a different route. Let's try to get to it again without it crashing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go directly to a video. Actually, I'm going to go to a site. Let's go to... This is pretty cool. Amazon.com that actually works pretty well and I do like that feature and then we'll go to zoom it should bring up the zoom I have which is the Wi-Fi version and we'll go to my review on the zoom site while we're doing that I would like to say I do like the browser a lot of things I like about the zoom but the HD video quality or the playback performance is honestly crap right now. Um, and I was having a discussion with this gentleman and he pointed me to a site and this site has full screen trailers in HD format for the Zoom. And we'll copy this. And then we'll go paste it. Now, I can tell you right now, I've looked at these files on this site. These are not which, what I would consider really high quality HD movies. They look, they can look good on a smaller screen, but when you put them on anything larger, like a 13 inch screen, you can tell they're a lower bit rate. So, uh, you would expect them to play really well but that's not the case so now we're going to open up just let's see here let's go how to train your dragon oh I hit the wrong one that's okay we'll let it load if it will and it's not okay now it's asking what player I'm going to choose V player It'll load. Yeah. Okay. It acts like it's going to catch up. Oh. If you, I hope you can pick up this quick stutter 
It actually looks like the movie's in slow motion. It has a slow motion appearance to it. A lagging appearance. The audio is stuttering a bit too. And I don't know if you can see this on here, but really low quality. You can see the blocking or the artifacts in the dark areas really bad. So what I'll do is pause it, and then we're gonna bump it up just to show you if I can do this without it crashing. Video quality is set for high speed. Let's just take it up to medium quality. And now you can really see this. Really great if you like watching a movie in slow motion. And let's pause that and let's go on up to high quality. Maybe there's like this magical setting that I'm missing or something. I didn't mean to hit that. Yeah, so there's really no need to keep watching that. Uh, this is the V player. Um, it it boasts in the description. It says Tegra 2 support. Why they would put that, I wouldn't think of any other reason uh, other than saying it supports the hardware. And since this is a video player, you would assume that it would use the hardware to accelerate video playback. But uh, if it's doing it, it's doing a horrible job of it. And again, these videos are. A pretty, they're pretty low quality in my opinion. Uh, on low setting, at least on this player, uh, I would not watch a video at that quality. If I was going to watch it at that quality, I'll go ahead and download the standard definition because that's basically what it looks like. Now, the videos on that site, I'm not saying they're standard definition. I'm saying the low quality setting on this player really turns the quality down really low. And you can see it still did not play it well. The videos on the site, they look okay as long as you're playing them at full quality, but they're still not uh, really high quality HD videos. So anyway, uh, check out my review on Amazon.com. And my advice right now to anybody out there considering the Zoom, if you like HD video playback at all and that's going to be one of your main uses, hold off on getting the Zoom until we see what they do with this. They're either going to have to fix it with software. If it's hardware, then you might be waiting for the Zoom too.